Y'all, what if somebody was actually walking around with some brows like this? Like, this is just, mm -mm, this is not cute. <laughs> So we about to do a chit chat get ready with me video. Sorry if you hear my washer in the background I am drying some clothes. I kind of wanted to switch up the scene a little bit I think I'm gonna start doing my videos right here because I like to use the natural lighting and just using my softbox lights I mean, of course, I'm still gonna try to do like different paper backgrounds But I might just do everything right here to be honest because yeah that room I don't know it's just so blah right now I have to decorate it and get it looking like something so until I do I'm just gonna you know do my videos right here but yes y'all just wanted to come on here and just kind of talk to y'all I feel like I haven't really did that in a while I know like in my last video I probably talked y'all head off with the clipping <laughs> extensions but you guys I was like really really excited about those when they um called and said that they not called <laughs> When they emailed me and said that they wanted to work with me, I was so excited, y'all. Like, I've been dying to want to, you know, try curly hair clipping extensions. Like, because my hair, I mean, I love my curly hair, don't get me wrong, but it's like, it's just so blah, you know? Like, it's not full, like, how I want it to look like. I don't know, it's just not full enough. Let me just say that, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I'm glad that I was able to come across some curly hair clipped in. So if you have not seen that tutorial on how I installed it and got my hair to look really, really full, I will put a card like right here so you guys can click on it and go watch it or you can wait till after this video. Go watch it. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, what if somebody was actually walking around with some brows like this? Like this is just, Mm -mm, this is not cute and y'all like my skin has been like going through it like I got pimples forming dark spots because I'm just so good when it comes to like picking at it I know you're not supposed to pick at your pimples but this one right here was giving me the blues honey like I don't know I just had to like pick at it and just get it out I don't know why but yeah so right now I am trying a new system of using a vitamin C facial wash because I heard that Using something like that when washing your face, you can um, really get those dark spots or just dark areas of your face to even out and to look more like your skin tone. So I got um, some facial wash, vitamin C facial wash from Soap and Glory. I saw it in Target the other day. So I bought like a little tra travel size one just to test it out and see how it does. So, so far, I mean, I like the way it feels. The way that it feels or whatever it's like an exfoliant it got the, like the little beads and stuff in it <laughs> excuse me <laughs> it has like the little beads and stuff in it so you can really like exfoliate really good and just get some of that dead skin off of your face i'm gonna be testing it out hopefully it works in my favor if it does i would definitely um put y'all up on game and like just give y'all the whole regimen of me doing my skincare routine okay like so lately i've been using let's see where is it i mean lately i've been going back to my go-to my nars um concealer this is the what, what, what you, is this car yeah medium to dark two this is caramel so i like to use this to kind of clean up under my brows and also to kind of um not highlight but prep before i put on foundation to kind of hide these dark circles a little bit more or just dark areas of my face like i'm gonna put some on over this little dark spot right here and just you know areas that i feel like that needs it but lately i have been using this this is like my holy grail um concealer so if you haven't tried NARS, I highly suggest trying NARS. <laughs> and for regular concealer, when I highlight you guys, I've been using the Fenty Beauty. I am in the shade 350. This is, wait, it, hold on. I guess it don't give the name, but the number is 350. But you guys, like, I've been obsessing over this. Like, it gives me the full coverage that I want and that I need. So yeah, like, if you have not tried the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, I highly suggest trying that as well. I know I'm late to the game. I'm always late to the game when it comes <laughs> to this whole beauty thing. But you guys, I am really trying to stay consistent as best as I can. I just be having so much going on. But let me not use that as a crutch every time because I feel like y'all might be like, who cares? Just do the video you want to see 
the video. So I'm going to be bringing back, you know, makeup tutorials as much as I can because I know some of you guys are missing the makeup tutorials. So be sure to bring that to back, back to life. And also um, doing hair tutorials with like different weave wigs and stuff like that. So some of you guys were requesting like, what kind of wigs are you wearing now? Da -da -da -da. I got some of my sleeves. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Like, I just got so much planned. Like, I'm just, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and did my, like concealed my eyebrows off of the camera because I feel like that takes the longest for me because I'm so like trying to make sure I get the line like really straight as possible because I hate having wonky brows. So if I don't really concentrate on that before going into the next steps, y'all, like my makeup would not come out right. So, but anyway, so I don't really know what kind of look I wanted to do today. I just know I want to be really cute. I don't know if I want to do eyeshadow or just do a nice natural beat. A lot of you guys like when I just do a nice natural beat, but I think I wanna start doing eyeshadows again, like giving you different looks with the eyeshadows. So today I think I might play around with some color of some sort, maybe not too bright, just maybe something really neutral, but it stands out, you know? <laughs> I don't know how that sounds, if that makes sense. <laughs> I feel like I'm horrible when it comes to like explaining things, so. Please bear with the girl. But I do have a couple of videos that I will be posting along the week. I'm trying to shoot for at least three three videos this week. Two to three videos. Cause I do have a couple of packages coming in. Like I have some hair coming in. I have some clothes coming in from Boohoo. So I kind of wanted to do like a spring try on haul for you guys. Or maybe not even spring, just something fun because I'm going on vacation in May. So I was pretty excited that um, who wanted to work with me on doing, you know, a clothing haul. So I'm like, yes, your girl can get some nice fits for this trip for Miami because we're going to Rolling Loud once again. If you haven't really heard of that, um, it's kind of like a, a big old festival. Like it's a three day festival in Miami and sometimes they have it in uh, LA. It's like back and forth. They have it in, sorry y'all. They have it in LA and in Miami last year. We, that was our first time going. We went to the one in Miami. Lit, okay? Like, you gotta be on some kind of level when you in a festival like that. Like, when I tell you, it was just crazy. When, and then, like, everybody and their mom was there. If you like to listen to underground type music or just, you know, you're kind of one of those, not, I don't wanna say hype beasts. But you're one of those people that loves to listen to all underground rap artists, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, and I'm going in with my favorite foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I need to get some more. As you saw, I was pounding it out because I don't have anything left, really. <laughs> we are doing that in Miami. That's our vacation. We're gonna be there for pretty much a week in Miami because we wanted to kind of get there before the festival actually starts and just kind of have like a little couple's time. Like we don't really travel a lot like we used to because we're so caught up in work or you know, life things in general just don't work out in our favor. <laughs> so we were just like, you know what? We just gonna go to Rolling Loud again this year. So I'm just really like ready to turn up, you guys. I'm ready to just let loose, be young, be wild, and be free, honey, because <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty much a homebody. If I'm not like traveling or doing anything, I am pretty much at home, y'all. Like I don't, I don't do anything, which is pretty lame. And then now I'm in the process of trying to find a new car because you know, if you've been watching like my story, I've been doing like Insta story vlogs here and there. So I'm just kind of like depressed right now, y'all. Like it's just so much going on and I cannot deal. All right, so now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to go ahead and highlight and contour. I keep having these little specks of hair. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go in and highlight with the Fenty Beauty Pro Concealer. Like I stated, I am in the number 350. It's not too light and it's not too dark. I feel like this gives me the perfect highlight that I need. I'm not into the whole white, bright under eye type look like with my makeup, I like to keep it as natural as possible, even though I use a lot of products to achieve like my full face or my everyday face, I like to keep my products as close to my skin tone as possible, you know, cause I don't wanna 
I don't want to look like a clown, but I don't want to look plain either, if that makes sense. Like, I like to keep it as close as possible. So I feel like 350 in the Pro Concealer, I mean the Pro Filter Concealer from Fenty is like the perfect look. So if you feel like you're my skin tone, definitely, definitely check it out. But yes, you guys, I would love to know what kind of video. Let me know if you still like these chit chat, get rid of me type of videos. Cause I really enjoy doing it. It gives me a, a chance to really sit down and talk with y'all and just really let you know what's going on in my life. <laughs> it's not much, but I feel like some of you guys really like to hear what I'm doing and look forward to what I'm doing. So that's like my whole purpose of doing these types of videos just to kind of get, to give you insight and just, you know, if I'm not doing a vlog or something and I want to do my makeup, why not talk to you guys while I do my makeup? And you guys, I am still using this Anastasia Beverly Hills <laughs> foundation stick in Coco. This is my favorite, favorite thing to use. It's like my second one I bought. I don't really use it a lot. So yeah, that's only my second one I bought, but I did end up buying the Fenty Beauty contour stick, but I don't know, I need to play with it a little bit more because I don't really like it as much. It doesn't blend out as much as I want it to. It's not like creamy, like creamy, creamy. You know, if that makes sense, it's just kind of there and it's hard to move. So I feel like with the Fenty Contour Stick, you have to move it as soon as you put it on or it's just not, it's just gonna be a little line stuck on your face. And you have to really blend, blend, blend to get it off and that's gonna mess up your foundation, you know? And you don't want that to happen. So, yeah, so that's why I kind of went back to using my Anastasia foundation stick because that just was not working out with me. But like I said, I just have to play with it a little more. I'm always a, like a one and done type person. If I don't like a certain thing or a certain situation, I just pretty much wipe my hands with it and I'm done, but I'm trying to work on getting chances with certain things. So I'm gonna give that Fenty Beauty contour stick another chance. <laughs> but I feel like this uh this conversation is kind of all over the place right now. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I just get off subject all the time. Like when I think about something else, I just start talking about that. So Sorry if this video conversation seemed like it's all over the place, but I'm just hitting certain topics that's just in my mind. So with these kind of videos, I would love for you guys to comment down below like different topics you want me to talk about when doing my Get Ready With Me videos because I would love to like to incorporate girl talk, you know? Like if you got a certain subject like about a relationship or friendship, family issues, job issues, life issues, whatever the case may be, or it can be whatever. Definitely like comment topics down below for me. Like I would love to hear like how you feel about certain things or if you would want to hear how I feel about certain things, if that makes sense. <laughs> and right now I am using my two Dermablend setting powders that I've been using for a while now. I'm like obsessed, you guys. I have not went back to my Lord Mercier whatsoever. But this is the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder and I have um, the style Warm Saffron and Cool Beige. These together kind of give me that golden look. So until I order me some more, that's coming soon too. <laughs> so until I order me some more Sacha Buttercup from Amazon, this kind of gives me the look that I want, like the whole golden under eye type of feel. It might not be golden, but it is definitely like vibrant. It's like a natural look too, so that's a plus. But I also like to get that golden highlight. I don't know why, don't ask me why, <laughs> but I'm just that type of girl that likes that look. So using these two together gives me the look that I like. Now I'm going to go in with the powder contour. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is their Studio Pro um, contour palette. I love this. It's like my second one I got. I've been having this one for a while though because I've been using my um, CoverGirl face powder. It's like a darker face powder that I use, but I went back to using this because I really do like the finish of it. It just gives it a nice look is nothing too cakey or too crazy it just looks really good and i go i pretty much go back and forth with these two colors look, with these two colors so yes <laughs> all right so for my eyes i was thinking about going in one of these eyeshadow palettes this is the maybelline 
Lemonade Craze and Soda Pop. The Lemonade Craze one has been my favorite one to use, so I really do think this is what I'm going to go in and use <laughs> because I just know the colors. I mean, I like what's in the Soda Pop, but everything is just so dark, you know? I'm not really feeling it. So with this one, it's kind of like more of a vibrant look. It has some like, it has light pink and a hot pink and a yellow, so I'm just really liking these colors, so I think I'm gonna um, do something with this. I don't know what, but we gonna do something with this. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in first with this hot pink color. This is Ice Pop, and I'm just going to use that as my first transition color. Let me see that sign on kind of far back. I'm gonna use this as my first transition color, and I'm pretty much just going to blot that in. I really do miss doing makeup, you guys. Like, I feel like I have fallen all the way off when it comes to this whole YouTube and being a beauty influencer. Um, because I've been so wrapped up in other things. Well, the other thing is my technically beautiful business, like helping other people that I kinda stepped back from helping myself, if that makes sense. So I'm like really excited about trying to get back into doing these makeup looks for you guys. I just really, really enjoy makeup. I love, I love doing makeup. So I think I am gonna go in with the soda pop. I lost my train. I'm gonna go in with the soda pop palette and I'm going to go in with cherry on top. This is like a deep kind of purple, plummy purple and I'm just going to use that as my outer corner color. I just feel like purple and pink is like a really good color to use. So I'm just going to I just want to keep it really pretty and just fun. You know, spring is coming up, honey. So we're going to come out with some good spring looks, okay? And now I'm just taking my same brush, not really picking up any more products. And I'm just going to blend that out. So, I am going to be using this nice little Eason brush. This is really old. This is a brush that my sister gave me a long time ago. But I like it because it's around and it's good for like patting in the eyeshadow. So, I think I'm going to be going in with Tonic. But maybe no. This Grape Pop, that's kind of cute. It's like a metallic purple. We're going to do that. That is really pretty. This kind of like a little Valentine's Day look I should have did. <laughs> So this is the eyeliner that I chose to do. Not a wing, I just kind of wanted to keep it really subtle. Um, I probably, I'm kind of regretting putting on eyeliner for this look. I probably should have just left the eyeshadow by itself because it was so freaking pretty. I mean, it still looks good, but we're gonna put some lashes on now just to kind of bring the whole eye look together and get that out the way. I'll be going back and forth with two pair of lashes that I'm obsessed with. I have one that's from Lash Bay Lash Co. These are in the style um, bombshell, and I think that's what I'm actually going to be wearing today because y'all, like, these are my absolute favorite go-to lashes to wear. I am all here for the wispy full look when it comes to lashes. So as you can see, your girl been wearing them out, honey. Like these are really cute. Oops. These are like really, really cute and full and just really wispy. I love that style of lashes. So I'm just going to add my glue on here so we can kind of dry a little bit before I actually place them on my lashes. So one side is still longer than the other one. So I'm gonna have to like cut this one just a little bit more the next time I 
wear these but yes you guys this is the eye look honey and now i'm just gonna go in and shade my waterline just so i can um have like that smoky look i always like to do a smoky eye for my water bottom waterline um i never really just do something like this and then it's like that's it like i feel like they look so crazy Some of that powder got in my eye. <laughs> and now I'm just going to go in with the NARS Climax Mascara to coat my bottom lashes. Just so they can extend a little more than what they are. And it's really rare that I put um, eyeliner on my bottom waterline. I think I might start doing that, but not in this video. <laughs> um, because I just really like the look of an open eye. I feel like when you put like a dark or a liner along your waterline, it kind of gives you more of a small eye. So just only putting a mascara on definitely does the job for me. But so far I am like obsessed with this look y'all. We are almost done. I'm gonna go in with some highlight because I didn't put any highlight on when I was letting my lashes dry because I didn't want them to dry too fast and I couldn't get them on so. But where is the brush? Where the brush go? And for highlight, I am using the Maybelline Master Chrome Studio Highlight. It's just a nice goldeny color. I just love this. I think it looks really good. It complements my skin tone really well. So I'm just gonna put that all along my cheek. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat and get ready with me. Let me know if you, you know, want more of these kinds of videos and I would definitely, definitely do them for you. Cause I mean, who doesn't like to sit and talk and do their makeup? Like, yes. <laughs> but yes, you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button, join the fab family. And yes, like I always say, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.